Hi folks, you join me today down here at Seaford. It's only gonna be a quick session. Um, we've got a storm coming in, there's supposed to be thunder. You can see it's looking a bit gray behind me, but we're gonna get out, give it a go. I've got some squid bait with me today and hopefully I'm gonna pick up some mackerel. That's what I want anyway. Catch you in a bit. Folks, look, we got all the boys here today. <laughs> right, folks, so I'm going to get these feathers out and we'll troll them about while I paddle out. We'll find somewhere to anchor up and then we'll get some squid bait out. Like I say, I don't think it's going to be a very long session today because we're supposed to have a storm rolling in. So I'll make do with what I've got. And it's better than sitting at home, isn't it? Hey? Right, let's sling this out. First mistake. Yeah. I've hooked my fing feathers on the end there, look. Bucks. A few moments later. I think we're um, far enough out here, really. Um, I might go a little bit further so I'm level with the um, harbour arm. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just punt out a little bit more. Right, chaps and chapesses. So yeah, I'm probably I'm a little way out. I'm not too far. Um, I'm going to drop the anchor around here. Again, I need to get myself a fish finder, really, so I can find features. and. Um, increase my chances of catching but half the time it's um just being in the right place and it's luck isn't it a lot of fishing so anyway i'll say i'm gonna drop this here oops right okay so seaford beach um shelves quite deeply it's um there's no sand here at low tide as you saw it's quite shingly um and there is normally quite a bit of a, um, a tidal drift because um, further towards the east, um, we've got Beachy Head. And off of Beachy Head is where you get the um, tides converging. And you normally find that, um, you know, you've got one tide pushing towards um, Beachy Head. And in Eastbourne, it's normally flowing the other way. So um, I've paddled kind of like towards New Haven. Um, in, the, in the theory that it'll make it a bit easier when I get back so I can go with the tide and, and just paddle back. Um, to be honest, I've drifted quite a bit as I've come out here anyway and um, I'm not really that far from where I started off and I parked my car. So, um, and you can see the line is paying out quite nicely behind me. Um, as a general rule of thumb, um, they recommend that you put the depth or the line out three times the, um, the depth you're fishing in. That way it takes out any surge from the tide or, or any waves. So it makes you, um, it, you know, it keeps you in line with the, um, with the thing better. Well, that was a disaster. As I was sorting out the anchor, um, my paddle split and one part of it fell into the water and drifted off so I had to quickly release my anchor so I've now I've now got to go and try and retrieve my anchor boy which luckily this is the reason you have a float on it my paddle parted and separated and because of that it then drifted off so I had to quickly release my emergent my anchor to um, retrieve it and now I can't find my bloody floating buoy anywhere so I've lost a dive reel um, which was 60 odd quid my anchor which was another 20 quid um, so yeah I'm doing really well at the moment um, so saying I'm off is an understatement 
but again, this is how things go when you're out here, you know? But I'm gonna have to see if I can um, find it, so I'll sling this back out, troll some more um, feathers behind me. You never know, I might even snag it like that. That float obviously ain't good enough to hold up the reel in the water. So that's a hundred quid's worth of stuff pretty much gone. Um, massive Well done. What a bed. Honestly, I'm f***ing hell, aren't I? Absolutely So, yeah, I've been up and down. I can't find this float anywhere. I think I've spotted it in front of me. That's it, yeah, I've got it. Oh, for that. Oh. Bleeding relief. Right, folks, I'm re anchored up. So that was a close one. But again, it just shows how important it is to have a float on your anchor rig. I thought I'd lost that then. I'm going to have to get a bigger arm, a bigger float, I think. Right, so what happened with my um, with my paddle here, you can see you've got this release button. I had the paddle round that way, so the button was upside down, and obviously where I was manoeuvring, and that, that, this part just then jettisoned off out there. And um, yeah, the rest is history. But thankfully, thankfully I, um, I managed to retrieve retrieve it and also my anchor kit so yeah the next thing i'm going to buy when i get home i'm going to get a bigger um, anchor float um, a bright orange one that way if ever i do have to release quickly i can find it no problem right let's bait up these feathers and get these back out folks there's mackerel boiling to my left Let me get this out there. You can see them. So I've just cast right into them. Let me try again. Right, let's get this one baited up. You can hear thunder rumbling behind me. But after that escapade of trying to find me um, Float. I want to be out here as um, as late as I can, really. So let's get this quad rigged up and out there. So I'm going to have a whole squid on this one, and then what I'll do is I'll concentrate on um, trying to bag some mackerel. Right, guys, there you go, a nice big squid bait. So we will get that out very quickly. So it doesn't, I don't think I've got that long out here. We could be lucky in that the um, thunder kind of passes further out at sea rather than cuts along. Right folks, time for a coffee while we are out here listening to the thunder approaching. Ah. 
So here is a coffee I prepared earlier. I reckon we might be all right, you know. We'll see. Oh, mackerel over to my right. Loads of mackerel. Quick, 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 quick. I keep seeing little patches of them erupting on the surface of the um, water. So. out there um, I'm thinking it's gonna pass us by hopefully um, but yeah there was, there was a there was a flash out there a minute ago and I'm not talking about the old um, Queen version <laughs> Thunderstorm is. You can see Brighton in the background, you can see the marina is shrouded in um, cloud. It looks like it could be a bit of rain, but as the wind is blowing it might just blow past us. Well, fingers crossed anyway. Right, hopefully we'll see some more mackerel kicking about and um, we can um, try and nab a few. I may have to go in in a minute. But as you can see, there is a weather front passing through with lightning uh, yeah probably not ideal bobbing about around here um, waiting to get struck but hey wonder what, I've always wondered what I'd look like with a perm <laughs> Alice mate look at that brilliant didn't catch the fish though didn't I at least the one good thing at least I found my anchor because Christ, you know, almost 100 quid's worth just lost at sea. What a nightmare. The other thing is also, if there was anyone in a boat or anything like that, that could easily get wrapped around their prop and uh, make their day a bit of a uh, <laughs> up as well. I am now bow into the um, waves, so let's go around here and you can see. Also, I've attached the GoPro to this. We're gonna send her down to the bottom and see what we can see. I don't think it's that deep here. Um, contrary to what I said earlier. Uh, but yeah, it's looking a bit black over there. Um, but anyway, let's, let's persist. Let's persist and send you down to the bottom. I'll see you in a minute. Right folks, so I don't know what was down there. I'll review the footage when I get home. Um, but it looks like the storm is kind of passing through and around us. So, fingers crossed I'm not going to get too wet. Um, 
Yeah, it's looking a bit bleak over in Brighton. But yeah, right, let's get these um, rods back out from where I turned around. Those jet skis look fun. <laughs> that looks great fun. I reckon you could probably do a good day's fishing off of one of them and all. Well folks, it um, looks like the rain's now turned up. Lovely. Anyway, I'm in a wetsuit so it doesn't really matter. What a lovely day for a spot of fishing. Yeah. Look at it. It'll pass through hopefully. Things I'll do for you guys, eh? Come. I look a right pillar out here, don't I? Yeah. Whose great idea was this to come out today? <laughs> Look at it. Oh. I better bloody catch something after being sat out here in this. Well, what a session this turning out to be. So, now look, my bloody reel's packed up. So it won't, won't wind in now, so this is yet another one I'm going to have to send off to get repaired. I don't know what's going on. Any of you guys out there have used um, Abu multipliers? Got any comments? Let us know. But yeah, hopefully next time I come out fishing, you'll see this repaired. But look at this. Oh. So it's not just me having a bad day. Other people are too. Amazing, isn't it, eh? Half hour ago, it was absolutely bloody horrible. It was cold, windy, and um, lots of rain. But yeah, it's cleared up quite nice now. Um, like I say, I'll probably give it a go with the mackerel because the um, feathers should show, should show up quite well in the water now. I'm going to swap these reels over on the rods because this one's technically known as knackered. Um, I need to get this one sorted. But... Right, so the other rod's been put to bed, and now I've got this one. And you can see I've got a load of feathers on here. I've got two strings of feathers all strung out. Um, I'm going to bring my anchor in in a second, and then we're just going to paddle about a bit. I'll probably go down to a harbour um, and then back, and. Um, and that'll be us, I think. Yeah, it'll be good to get some mackerel. There's bugger all uh, static fishing on the bottom. So, yeah, we've given it a go. Right, catch you in a bit. So um, we're now just out the um, outside the marina, um, New Haven Harbour, um, and you can see the the water's glassy, really nice and flat, calm because of the um, breakwater. Um, I was hoping that it might be quite good for some mackerel. I've not had anything as yet. Um, there's a few people on the end of the breakwater fishing, um, but yeah, we shall. Um, go around here a bit and just see if there's anything we can pick up. Um, 
it's ideal. It's ideal, but yeah, like I say, we'll see. I might have to take um, one set of feathers off and um, just use for one set because. Oh, hang on. Yep, there's stuff. There's stuff on the top over here. Nothing, folks. Absolutely nothing. I thought we might have had something around the um, around by the harbour, but we're not getting anything around here. So um, I shall probably head back in a minute. And um, I've done everything today, and I've been defeated. few more mackerel but they were like that so I've slung them back um, I only keep sizable fish it's pointless um, catching and keeping um, the small mackerel so I'm gonna leave this out head back my right, folks so I've also caught what is called a scad um, also known as a horse mackerel um, anyway we'll chuck him back and probably call it a day been a long session we got there in the end after a few failures um, but anyway yeah it's quite nice sat out here turned out to be an all right day apart from that thunderstorm earlier um, but yeah so I've got some mackerel so I can um, stick some in the freezer and possibly take a couple to work for um, a few workmates anyway let's head back <laughs> 